Mahari Champs. My name is Mohit. And through this small uh, game in jumbled up uh, words, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to teach you a little bit of action scripting. Whenever I make games, uh, my main purpose is actually to teach you action script through an appropriate example. Uh, guys, before I actually uh, <coughs> teach you the scripting part, let me hit control and on the keyboard to uh, export the Swift, test the movie. So you see, uh, we are being asked to guess uh, five words. The, the five words which are going to appear in a jumbled manner, jumbled fashion, scrambled, they're all scrambled. What you need to do is you need to man mentally uh, understand what these five words are. And once you do that, you need to make a list of all those five words. So people, I'm going to start now. Can you guess these five words correctly? Right. So let me hit the start button. Uh, this is the first uh, word. Uh, here comes the second one. Up comes the third one after the three after three seconds it ups. Three more seconds is the fourth one, and uh, this is the fifth one. People, all right. If you still couldn't make out, uh, you have the option of starting all over again by hitting the start button. The button gets disabled the moment you hit start, and after every three seconds, the words start to flow all over again. But this time, they are jumbled up or scrambled in a different manner, in a different order altogether. That's the best part. So, which means that the uh, jumbling of the scrambling up isn't happening uh, through this, uh, you know, by what I decided, but is happening completely through the action script, which is which is the best part, right? So. Uh, completely uh, the scrambling is completely action script 3 driven which means that even I don't know how the word is gonna come up come out scrambled that's cool right so uh, let's first understand the stage okay it's pretty simple the stage is pretty simple uh, I wouldn't be reconstructing it all over again simply because uh, just just contains a handful of uh, you see uh, text fields so this is a text field beg your pardon uh, the topmost layer is the action script 3 layer. The bottommost layer is the uh, text fields layer, which contains uh, three text fields. The top uh, layer, um, the top text field is a classic static text field, which just con contains this question mark. The uh, second text field is again, uh, you see, classic static text field, okay, uh, being aligned to the center, okay, and the third text field is again aligned to the center is uh, not selectable right but you can see it it's a classic dynamic text field simply because the uh, content is going to change after uh, every three seconds once the start button is clicked and the instance name is my text the uh, font has been embedded by using the embed button and uh, choosing character ranges all <coughs> right so since the font has already been embedded if i go to the library you can see the embedded font here right and as far as the button is concerned uh, people i got this button from the buttons component out here cool so <coughs> the actions layer the button layer and the text fields the three text fields two static uh, text fields and the third one is a dynamic text field which has an instance name of my text now that is all that is there on the stage the stage part is uh, pretty uh, simple and straightforward let's uh, discuss the action script right now what is happening is i'm churning the word again and again and again till the final word is actually um pretty uh, pretty scrambled out it's pretty uh, you know not close to the original word for sure right so okay now now let me take you through the uh, action script People, uh, line number five declares a variable, makes it equal to zero. Line number six uh, creates an array. Now, array is a collection of collection of uh, values. So the different values have uh, been uh, fed in our crazy blood flash cr uh, crash thread. So these were the five words that I'd used. So if you couldn't guess, these are the answers. I've declared a variable, uh, my timer. Data typing it to timer, and um, this timer fires at three seconds. After three seconds, five times. This is the uh, uh, repeat count five, all right, and this is uh, the time delay, right? So delay and the repeat count, cool. Uh, then I'm adding an event listener to the timer, and I'm executing a function go, which happens after every three seconds, equal to three thousand milliseconds. Now let's understand this function go. I'm declaring a variable word, 
data typing into string which is equal to my array i i is zero so my array zero is at the zeroth position this is the word crazy this is referencing the word crazy i'm declaring another word new word and i'm making it equal to word plus word now word was crazy so new word is crazy plus crazy so that's crazy crazy right so now the churning process starts Declaring it in the variable math.seal of math.random into 5. Now math.random into 5 will fetch a number between 0 and 5 including fractions. Math.seal will not only round it up, uh, will make it a whole number, also will ensure that the number is bumped up, which means 4.22 becomes 5, 3.11 becomes 4, and 0.55 becomes 1. So the result will be a number between 1 and 5, uh, including 1 and 5. All right. <coughs> let's see what this variable final word is now the final word is new word which was uh, word plus word dot substring substring is a you know uh, a, a chunk of string starting index uh, this ending index this right so if the uh, random number generated was two so i'm fetching the characters from the second index of the new word to the seventh index of the new word so what will happen is it'll go and get inside this um, word crazy crazy and uh, depending on what the random number was generated it'll pick up any five characters any five here or here or here or here right any five characters in a, in a series right and then i'm declaring yet another variable the churning process goes on so what I'm doing is, uh, depending on what those five characters are pulled out from this string, uh, it'll add those five characters to itself, right? And then uh, this is the the magical uh, line, right? So what this does is another declaring yet another variable, final word two, and then uh, using the substring method. So what this does is it reverses the uh, five characters starting index 0 ending index uh, so starting index 5 ending uh, index 4 that'll pull up one uh, character uh, this will pull up the other character this will pull up the third one this is the fourth one and this will pull up the fifth one All right so you see this is churning process number three so you know depending on um, <coughs> what the new word is right uh, which is equal to final word plus final word I, I'm, I'm reversing the characters so the result is uh, an actual word which doesn't uh, resemble the original word at all and then through the, the text property I'm displaying it on the stage my text is the text field people making it equal to final word too right and then I'm adding an event listener to the button the start button making sure that when somebody clicks the button the timer fires and the button gets disabled and then uh, another uh, event listener added to the timer as well of the type uh, uh, timer complete so whenever the timer is complete I reset I right which I increment every time in the timer function I reset the timer I disable the, uh, enable the button once again once the timer has uh, finished playing all right so you see uh, the button gets uh, disabled the moment you hit the start button the button uh, gets enabled all over again once the timer uh, stops the I gets reset to zero once the timer finishes the I is incremented every time uh, the timer fires okay it goes into five cycles and I goes from uh, uh, zero to one to two to three etc right all right people so you see the churning of the word happens uh, many times out here in the timer function and ultimately the word that appears uh, on the stage is a completely churned out uh, scrambled out jumbled out word for sure which is not close to uh, the original word uh, it wasn't a very easy thing for me to do it it took me a lot of logic a lot of time and effort although when you see the script it may seem easy to you so through this tutorial people have, have, have tried to uh, tell you uh, how the substring method works you see that substring uh, what it does is it just pulls out a chunk out of the you know the bigger string from starting index and the ending index that's the way it actually works so let me hit control enter before I terminate this tutorial to show you the published preview hit the start button first word 
second word <coughs> third one fourth one and the fifth one and obviously I can go all over again but this time the uh, words appear in a different uh, order or uh, order than the previous one right so you see um, the main thing that we learn from this uh, flash and access three tutorial is uh, how the randomization process actually works we we also see uh, the substring method and through the substring method we we learn how we can actually reverse the order of cert, uh, you know a set of words a set of word right so people uh, i hope uh, that you enjoyed and learned a lot from this tutorial also let me tell you that the fla file is available for download from my website http code forward slash forward slash quality lessons.net forward slash downloads you have a good day bye bye peace